This video is to show some tips to operate the Super Sessi. It does not substitute the user manual, which you can download from our website, fossiliontech.com. Once ready, the first thing to do is to connect the Super Sessi to the MS. The Super Sessi has an O-ring to seal the core of the ionizer and the inlet cone of the MS. This O-ring is made of Teflon to ensure it does not release vapors. Teflon is harder than most gaskets. For this reason you will have to push and wiggle until it fits. This is normal and it is OK. You may have to turn the levers one bit at a time. This is perhaps the most difficult part, especially the first time you do it. So take your time. Once connected, you can power the Super Sessi app and the MS will recognize the source. Changing the spray liquid is simple. Just make sure the wire and the capillary are immersed in the liquid and finger tight the vial to make it leak proof. To remove an old emitter, disconnect it from the fitting and the emitter clamp. Make sure the fittings are all loose before removing the emitter. With use, contamination and solid residues tend to build up at the tip of the emitter. To ensure these residues do not touch the rest of the system, remove the emitter through the front side of the prop. That is, tip first. Make sure that the tip and the back of the emitter do not touch anything. You will have to introduce the back of the emitter through the sleeve in the prop. The sleeve is small, so take your time. Once the emitter is in, slide it through, but make sure that the back does not touch the clamp. Put the clamp in the referent position. Insert the emitter in the clamp from the side. Align the emitter with respect to the lateral orifices of the probe. Tighten the clamp. Insert the probe in the core and connect the emitter and the transfer capillary. The tip of the emitter is extremely fragile, so make sure it does not touch anything during manipulation. The back is not as fragile, but it can get easily contaminated, so make sure it only touches the sleeves. A tip to get good capillary connections. Make sure that the silica is sticking out before you insert the nut in the fitting main body. To adjust the nitrogen excess gas, set the AUX gas to 1 or 2 in the MS. Stop the flow coming out through the sample line with your thumb. Use globes for this. And adjust the needle valve until the reading of the mass flow controller is between 0.3 and 0.4 liters per minute. This doesn't have to be precise. To compensate for variations in the excess gas, make sure that the set point is whatever excess gas reading you have plus 0.4 liters per minute. Normally, baking out the system should be enough to keep it clean, but sometimes some contaminants are particularly sticky and refuse to leave. In these situations, you can rinse the sample line, the core and the prop. For this, use water acidified with formic acid and then methanol. Do not use basic solutions, as a basic pH can damage the coating.
Once rinsed, make sure that it's not dripping. You can use a king wipe to remove liquid excess. Let it dry before connecting to the MS.